we just have the diagram. Again, what do we want to find? The reactions at the pin A and the tension in what I'll call in, I'll call it TBC, the tension in the cable from B to C. Right, so our free body diagram, looking at what we need to find, again, let this influence what is the object that we want to isolate from the rest of what's happening. So what should our object of interest be for this problem? Right, so the steel, presumably steel frame, so the whole red structure is we, what we want to uh, choose here. So I'm going to have my object, so one meter. So I'll copy down all the applied forces that act on the object that does remain. So we have this 60 kilonewton force. And we have this couple of 30 kilonewton meters. Right, so I have the applied forces down. So what other forces or couples act on the frame? The cable. Right, so the cable, just like we saw with particles, but now it's specifically acting at point B, where we had, it was disconnected. So it indicates that it's acting uh, as a 3, 4, 5 triangle. We don't know what the tension is. I already gave it a name in my givens. I'm calling it TBC. So known direction, unknown magnitude. And then what else do I have to put? So that's the connection at B that I separate it from. And then A, what's happening at A? It's a pin, it's a pin reaction there. Right. So just like the pin in the previous one, we'll have a, we can model it as a horizontal and a vertical force. It's going to be the easiest way for us to do that. So again, the pin allows rotation around Z. It doesn't allow translation in any X, X, Y, or any other axis. So pins, whenever we see these in 2D, really we're going to be treating it the same way. Two orthogonal uh, forces we can model it as. Right, C we don't have to worry about because our, the object we chose didn't directly interact with C, so that's not even in our picture. So again, we got rid of the pin at B, we cut the rope at B, or, or the pin at A and the rope at B, and then we copied down exactly those applied forces. So this is our complete free body diagram for this structure. Right, so the equations, again, we have those same um, equilibrium equations in this case, so I'll just, we can start there. So according to our free body diagram, what's the right-hand side for the first equation going to be? Right, so one equation, two unknowns, nothing else here acts in the x direction, so we'll put this aside. Equation two. Right, so three unknowns, two equations. So this is where we can help ourselves algebraically in our moment equation. So in this case, we have a pin at A. So again, if we choose to take the moment about A, it's going to eliminate AX and AY from appearing in equation number three, which means we'll only have one unknown, which means that using equation three, we'll be able to get our first number, and that makes the rest of the solution much easier. So again, I suggest take the moment about the pin. So, if we take the moment around the pin at A, what is our right-hand side for uh, going to be for this? Right, so a moment caused by that 60 Newton force, so a force of 60, a distance of 1, and right, it's going to be negative because around A, it's going to be causing a clockwise rotation about point A. So, right, negative 60 times 1. Right, well, it's on the right-hand side. Uh, right, so that couple of 30, uh, it's also clockwise, so negative. Yeah. Um, plus, 
Uh, so the three-fifths TBC is going to be the horizontal component of this. We will operate this up just like we did in Chapter 4. So the three-fifths is horizontal. So write its perpendicular distance to A is going to be 3. And is it clockwise or counterclockwise? So around A, if we pushed in that direction, the whole structure would want to rotate counterclockwise. So this component causes a, a positive moment around A. And then what else do we need in equation three? Well, we need both of them. Right, the four-fifths is going to be the vertical component. So that is going to have a perpendicular distance. Its line of action is one meter from A. So four-fifths TBC times one. And that also causes a positive moment around point A. So equation three, we have TBC in it twice, but there is only one unknown in equation three. That question, so if we look, we have three uh, equations. We have three unknowns. We have a solvable system. And because of the way we developed problem th uh, equation three about A, it's going to be pretty straightforward to solve. So using equation three, we can get the TBC is going to be 34.6 kilonewtons. It's a tension. It has to be positive. If we put equation 3 into equation 1, we can solve for AX. AX, we get 208 kilonewtons. And if we put equation 3 into equation 2, we get AY. AY, we get 87.7 kilonewtons.